Hello, Malcolm here. I've just arrived at the venue for the Lower Early Church Service of the Thames Valley Churches of Christ. I've arrived really early, so I parked up in the car park and I thought I'd quickly record some thoughts on our service this morning in Watford at the Watford Church of Christ, just so they'll be, while they're fresh on my mind, and see if they might be helpful. I'd like to get your feedback on some of the things we tried today. We had a very different sort of service today. I'll explain. Uh, our topic was how to be confident in a chaotic world. The idea was to have an invitation service where we hoped people would come, our friends would come, to talk about a topic that's very relevant to everybody in this world today, but to look at things from a spiritual perspective. What does the Bible, what does Jesus have to say about it? So that was the idea. We changed our format. We didn't use PowerPoint. We had song sheets. We did a horseshoe arrangement of with seats to make it a little more informal and, I suppose, cozy. And we did, um, we had less singing, we had one song, a cappella, and then Leon did a welcome, where he did a short introduction to the service, uh, we did a really great job with that, simple and short, and explaining the order of service for those especially who uh, wouldn't be familiar with a church service. And then we sang three more songs, sing hallelujah to the Lord, majesty, and shout to the Lord, did that with the piano. And then Tunde and Ava came up and prayed. They didn't do a welcome. Leon had already introduced everything. But they, they did a prayer. Children went out to their classes. And then uh, I brought three, three chairs to the front. And we did a panel interview discussion. This was a different part of our service today. So we didn't really have a sermon. So I had my wife Penny, who's a GP, came up and sat with me. And I sat there on a chair. And so did Kate Edwards, who's a therapist uh, who deals with trauma and a counsellor. So the, we had professional people reflecting on the place of spirituality and Christianity within their professional spheres of work, if you like, their reflections as professionals on what the Bible has to say about some of the challenges that people have that come to see them, my wife in her GP surgery and Kate in her counselling practice. So that was the idea. And then I asked them a number of questions based on our theme scripture. Our theme scripture was Matthew 11. I'll read this. In verse uh, 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So that's Matthew 11, 28 to 30. So that, that formed our theme as you can see there, Jesus is promising peace. He's promising that we can learn from him. He's promising that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. So this is what people need, right? In a chaotic world, they need peace. They need contentment. They need security. They need to be able to trust somebody, something, but we would say somebody, as in Jesus. And so I asked Penny and Kate a number of questions. I, I put out maybe about 20 questions to them and Charles, who's also a trained counsellor, wasn't able to be with us on the day, uh, of different ideas of, of we, could be, we could talk about. And then we whittled it down a bit. And then on the day, we had about, I don't know how long it was exactly, but I, I suppose 15 minutes, it may have been a bit longer, of me interviewing them, asking them questions. Uh, questions um, like, where are my questions? Questions like, um, uh, how many of the people that you see are there for, but perhaps for my wife in her GP background, uh, they, they present with physical challenges, but really you think it's more about emotional issues, spiritual issues, that kind of thing. Uh, what brings people, Kate, to you? in your uh, counseling practice? What, what are the symptoms of trauma from earlier in life? And these kinds of things. And now we talked as that developed on into the area of, so how does your faith inform you for these consultations and these visits uh, or these, these times together with people? Uh, how has your faith helped you in these areas? So did an interview format with everybody watching and listening. And then after we'd done a, a little while on that, then I gave a handout to everybody with five, I think it was five different translations of that passage, the New Living Translation and the NIV, the Message, which is a really interesting translation. Look at that. It, it really speaks, I think, quite powerfully to, uh, to this issue of chaos and fear and anxiety. And the Message Translation, maybe the or two or three others. You'll, I, I'll have to look them up. But several translations on one A4 sheet of that same passage. And then a question, which is basically, um, I don't have it with me right here, but the question was something like, um, uh, what does it mean to you 
uh, that Jesus is offering peace. So how, how would that look in your life? What's your reflections on that? And then we broke into small groups for a few minutes to discuss that. We came back, had some sharing, and I must say the sharing, I mean, some of the sharing was very personal, very deep. And uh, uh, a chap called Bill shared about losing his son. Uh, da Danny talked about losing his mother and, uh, and, uh, and the comfort that Becky brought him with her presence. And and Barry talked about some things. It, it, uh, the, the things people talked about were very deep, very personal, but they felt able to do it in that setting. And I was very proud of them, actually, and very excited that they felt able to share that. And I suspect it helped other people that were there. So we had some sharing. Then I, t I finished it off quite briefly by talking about this passage and about how Jesus' yoke is, um, is easy. It, it, he's come to give us rest or um, uh, relief is another way to translate that word. And he is gentle. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. Uh, we talked about that somewhat and finished off with, with that section there. And then we had a final song and then we ate lunch together. We, we had lunch and communion. We had, she didn't have a communion talk. We didn't take communion as part of the normal part of the service. That's something we did differently today. We did pray about the bread and the wine at the end. And then we had the bread and the wine on a separate table for people to help themselves after the main part of the service was open. That's what we were doing there. So things did uh, so a few things done differently so talking to people afterwards a number of people found it helpful but i'm looking for feedback from everybody that was there what did we do that was useful what was it what was not so useful what would you do the same again what would you do differently so i'm, I'm looking for feedback from the watford church but i just thought i'd share those ideas with you because although i don't think we got it all right and not all of it i do exactly the same i really love the idea of trying something different an interview format, a panel, bringing in people's professional backgrounds into their, into the church service environment so they could talk about their faith. And uh, Anyway, so that was it. Um, I really hope God got some glory from it. I really hope uh, the members got some help. I pray that our friends who came got some help from it. Uh, I wonder what you're doing differently. What are you trying that's a bit different from the normal? Please share it. Share it on the Corporate Worship website. Share it on the Corporate Worship Matters Facebook page. Let's talk about these ideas because no one's got a monopoly on all the best ideas. But if we learn from one another, we can incorporate what's useful for our congregation where we are. May God give us wisdom to know what's actually going to work. And if we try something and it doesn't work, it's okay. It's a lesson learned. It's not the end of the world. We haven't um, suddenly re-crucified Jesus, but just by trying something different, right? So try new things and share about them. Let's learn from one another. So until the next time, I hope you have a terrific time of corporate worship the next time you gather. And take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.